I'm back with Subnautica Below Zero. And today we answer the question, does is Subnautica cursed? Previously on Subnautica, my game crashed. Well, it wasn't the game, it was the whole fucking computer. And the file got corrupted. We managed to recover that one. Previously, the file being lost, the lost Subnautica video, that was kind of a mix of my fault and a mix of the fault of the encoder leading to a 55 gig file. This last time, um, there was a number of computer issues. I'm sure many of you are already aware, including um, me backing up my entire C drive. And yeah, it's been interesting. So hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. I have a feeling it was... So, a couple things. One, there were some corrupted sectors on my C drive, and that seems to have been fixed. Two, I was using an NVIDIA encoder. And it, it apparently was the thing that was crashing the most. So, at this present moment, um, I'm using the old encoder. And I'm hoping that it'll it'll be okay. So, how are you, how are you doing, everybody? How's it going? Good to be back. I've been busy. Life has been busy. But it's been a good busy. Been, uh, like I said, focusing on organizing, getting my uh, actual real life space together, not just my Subnautica space where I build um, interconnected buildings. And that's been, you know, it's been tough, but it's been good. And, um, new ducks dropped. There's another, um, duck with three babies that I fed. And I think I recorded my best duck video yet. Okay. That's nice. I think I recorded my best duck video yet. And I'm very, um, I'll show you another time because I don't have it on my computer, but it's, it's good. I like it. And... That's about it. I've, uh, been playing some, as you saw, I played some terrible game. Escape from Dinosaur Island. So, as bad as the surface segments of this game are, for me, at least it's not Escape from Dinosaur Island. What else? Um... You know, it's funny, because cars, I thought about this today, cars honk. But what if cars quacked? What if the inventor of the car horn was a bigger fan of ducks than geese? And, you know, someone, like, cuts you off and you hit the car horn, it goes... Bleh! That's the world I want to live in. That, that's the alternate dimension. Not the one with giant killer sperms. I don't want- I don't want to live in that- By the way, that episode of Rick and Mortimer was stupid as fuck. It made me laugh a couple times, but it was the- one of the dumbest episodes. Like, they worked backwards from the premise of having Rick and Morty ride sperm. If you haven't seen it, and you're a fan of the show, I don't know, you should watch it because it's stupid. If you haven't seen it and you're not a fan of the show, it will make you hate the show more. So that's cool. The other episodes were good this season, but that one, episode four, is just a little, uh... spermy for my liking, you know? It's a little too spermy. And I rewatched the Vat of Acid episode from last season, because I've only seen last season once. The um, Rick and Morty um, obsession phase that I went through, because season one and two were so good, that, um, that wore off pretty quick. So I ended up only watching season three one time and season four one time. But I rewatched that stupid Vat of Acid episode, and it, that, well, I say stupid, but... 
that one might be one of the best episodes for me. That that one actually genuinely makes me laugh, and also, I'm like, fuck. So yeah, that's a good one. But this season, aside from giant sperms, has also been good. And there's no Szechuan sauce. And some of the things that made season three dumb as hell are just gone. Some of the things. So. What else can I talk about? I tried watching the Resident Evil show. And that's all I have to say about that. bad. <laughs> I'll probably finish it, but I kept thinking about other things while watching it. I kept tuning out. And even though the characters have the names, like Claire and Leon, part of me just views them as a different character altogether. I'm just like, yeah, you can call them Claire and Leon, but who are, whomst are they really? They just seem so different. I know what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm still looking for, um... The fucking... I'm looking for the fucking crystal. Quartz. They got real stingy with the quartz up here. What's that? You want to make your own base? Nope. You, you're gonna have to suffer. Oh, okay, that's normal. Welcome aboard, Captain. I need two. Yes, I, I can. Use the power cell on the snow fox. Mm. Nutrient. What if food tasted like nothing? What would what would that world look like? If food just tasted like nothing at all? And it was just, like, nutrient. Like, you had to, like, put nutrient paste on your gums to feed yourself. I need a wiring kit for that. Okay, at least I can do that. I can't, because I need... I need the quartz. Before I can charge this thing, I need quartz so I can finish building the replicator. Or whatever it is. Man. All right. I'm gonna continue looking for quartz and hopefully not get lost. Because, boy, is it easy to get lost in this game. I, I wonder how much progress I lost, too. Because this... I, I remember saving pretty frequently, but it crashed as I was uh, exploring... ...the frozen wastes of my fucking brain rot. Water. Is this how I entered this area?
I got mauled multiple times and survived. Because my character is invincible. Except for drowning. That's awesome, dude. Just keep doing that. Was anything up here of value anymore? Well, that's valuable, but it's not what I need. Quartz. I need quartz. Captain Picard, we would most like to use your shuttle bay to uh, hold our goats. Also, Commander Riker, would you be taking me daughter's hand in marriage? Perfect and accurate Irish accent of a terrible episode of Star Trek The Next Generation television program. Only took 11 minutes and 30 seconds for me to get to Star Trek. Okay, great. So, yeah, zero progress was made here. Wouldn't happen to have any quartz by that dropped beacon, right? Right, yep, yeah, that's what I needed the thing for to make the spy pangling. Penguin. Peng. Speng. So I need those. I think I need those to get um, further. I thought the spy penguin things were just gonna be this optional little, like, cute thing. Seems like it might be necessary. But you know, the real ones are cute. And they're nice. Duh. Pretty cool. That is. Battery almost, almost pulped. The station I built earlier to build this thing, I wonder where that is. Find out real fucking soon. Hopefully right here. Hopefully, this, this looks familiar, but I don't know. It's up 
here. Yep. Oh my god, the timing. The fucking timing. All right, time to look for quartz. Everything but. Welcome to everything but. We have cushions. We've got plugs. We've got benches. Everything but. I'm not taking any chances. I am getting more quartz. Getting more, more than I need. When she puts her hands together like that, I can't help but think she's about to dance. Um, I probably will have had the answer to this question by the time it is... Zeta, I have kind of a funny question Never mind. Have you picked oh, look, up funny any question. kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of... Flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something. Almost like an SOS. At Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. Emmanuel Blast. My question was, can an Xbox One, the original model, play 4K Blu-ray? I think the answer is yes. This is an upgrade console, but how do I upgrade? I guess I have to build it at a replicator. A replicator. Well, I have all the quartz I need. Now to find my way back. Okay. Just got stuck on nothing. Ah. Hit with a giant icicle to the face. Ah! And then everything's fine. Blah! Oh no! I 
have created the ultimate being. Quentin Tarantino, Captain Falcon, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Think about it. Yeah, go in circles. Yeah. Very good. Try to find my way back in a snowstorm. Can't see shit. Lab again. Ah! Love this section. Okay, we're going back this way. I, I know I went through a cave at some point. loops back around, doesn't it? Already been here. Putrid sense of direction. You know what? No. It's sure, it's not great. Whoa. But... I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. God damn it. This way. Friend. No. Ports. Someone's probably screaming, Vinny, it was that way. Good. The snow fox is um, known to give brain damage to the user. I remember seeing that. Let's come onto something here. Going to drop a beacon at that base that I made. When I get, if I get there. There just wasn't any quartz here. The developers just straight up said no. No quartz. Don't do. They said, don't do it.
um, cave. Cave. There, it's an important cave, I think. Welcome aboard, Captain. Snow Fox jump module, titanium and wiring kit. I don't have any fucking titanium now. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Well, at least there's plenty of titanium in here. There is plenty of titanium in here, right? Okay. There's silver. Copper. Where's the titanium? I am having fun. There's the two I dropped from earlier. I'm assuming right now I have um sneeze voice. Uh I'm assuming that there's more. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Did I really not see that? It appears that your sister's death was accompanied by significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are your feelings confused? I am detecting more than one. I don't know. I, I feel... disillusioned? Worried? I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was... something else. This was... Smegligence. Jokes. Damn cheese burger. It's titanium, silicone, rubber, and battery. Got the silicone rubber. 
don't have a battery, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Titanium, I know there's titanium all over the place. Where's the Snow Fox upgrades? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Fuck. We This is much more fun than being underwater. I'm going to try to make the thing, but I need the thing for the batteries. This little cave here. This seems like a semi-important cave. I've seen the battery things. They're here. Somewhere. They're like, um, Fibonacci ribbons or something. The fuck are they? Hoping they're down here. That was at least a little less painful than trying to find quartz. I don't think they were called Fibonacci ribbons, by the way. I mean, an attempt was made to make this thing more fun and maneuverable, but I think having a game called Subnautica, you know, keep your on-foot land segments to an absolute minimum. Unless you want to call it, like, Land Nautica, or Post Nautica, or Skok Nautica, what, you know, something that is more accurate to the title.
so wiring kit, silicone rubber. Start with the battery. Without spy penglings, scientists may have never discovered that penglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows, often alongside thermal lily roots. Looks like I need copper now. Oh. Every time I get one thing, I need another thing. I guess that's just real life. Do you ever feel like the beginning of Fight Club? Do you ever feel like that? Sometimes I do. It kind of sucks that I have a lot of DVDs and uh, some good ones too, some good special edition DVDs. Approaching. Seek shelter. And you throw them on and you're just like, ah, oh, the video quality isn't. Oh no. We have TVs that are too good these days. Like I said, I have an OLED. The Switch OLED. No, I have, I have an OLED and it's well, like, goddamn. DVDs just ain't doing the trick anymore, are they? But I do have a Fight Club steel case, steel book, steel panther thing. So I have the remote, I have the pangling, peng jack, got nicotine stains on my fingers, I've got a silver spoon on a chain, I've got a grand piano to prop up my mortal remains. A wide staring eyes, and I got a strong urge to fly, but I got nowhere to fly to. Fly to. Think of whether or not I want to bring this shit with me. I'm gonna have to come back here anyway, so I'm gonna leave some stuff. I say full well knowing I'm probably going to have to search for the same materials that I'm leaving here. Try to head into that direction of the first uh, peng peng point. Which is very much not this way. I can't- I still can't help but think that 
they named these things penguins because that's how Benedict Cumberbatch says penguin. Like, he apparently can't not say penguin. He has to say penguin. And, you know, he was on a number of chat shows. And that, that came up as a, I think, Graham Norton show. Had that. So I have a feeling that the subyacht people were like, hey, that's funny. You should put that in the game. Damn it. Wrong cave. You boost into a wall once, you lose half your health. One time. Tons of it. I mean, okay, this is cute and all, but... I really hope there's more to this than just grabbing quartz, which I had to go find. Like a maniac! Just so I could even build this. This seems... this seems pointless. I just have to find more penguin points and hope that there's something interesting to do there. Going in circles, that's good. <coughs> this is a struggle to finish this game at the moment, truthfully.
You know what? I'm gonna search in here. Just in case I missed... Like, um, a little cave. Because I'm just trying to think, like, what do I need to do? I don't even remember what I need- Oh, I needed to find some kind of material. Maybe it's in here, I, I'm not really sure. Raining through caves. Alright. Just walk it off. Or there's nothing down there. Yeah, there was some device up here. It's been, like I said, a couple days and a lot of just life stuff and troubleshooting. So. And there's a container spot there. Damage there. Very good. Okay, so from what I can tell, there's nothing here aside from insert sample. So now I have to find the sample. And I assume, and I could be assuming incorrectly, but I watched a playthrough when I skipped around and I saw someone using one of the spy penglings. Penguin? What are they called? Pengling. Never mind. It has nothing to do with Benedict Cumberbatch. Um. And I'm assuming that's the solution. Could be wrong. I'm usually wrong. As much as I dislike this section, the snow fox is something I'd love to have in real life. She looks fun. those north lefts from chat right about now.
I don't really have much to say right now. I, I understand I'm, I am being kind of quiet, but kind of just run out of stuff to say, and I'm kind of losing my brain. I hear a beep. Oh, that's my dishes. They're done. I was like, oh, it's there's beeping. That means that there's a, a pangling location. No. Take it, this is not the correct location either. Where's that little spot? There's like a little walkway. Lead me to the building. taking a lot of restraint from rage quitting this game. I, I don't mean to sound dramatic about it, because it's not quite like that. Not quite like that. That's a, that is a little dramatic. But having a lot of trouble finding enjoyment in this. That was it. Just quartz. When I was looking for it, uh, now I know why the quartz was so rare earlier. Now I know. Well, that's an hour of my life I'll never get back. I know there were more locations to uh, send this, this wacky little bastard. They're somewhere. They're somewhere. Whether or not that's what I'm looking for, I don't quite know. I don't really know anymore what I'm supposed to do, truthfully. Like, I don't know. Is that the end game thing? Maybe that's the last thing you have to do?
I'm this way. Good. Good. Okay, follow me follow me here, friend. Fuck. Fuck. No, 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 not upgrades, not the upgrades. Just no. Comedic timing was perfect on that. And utterly depressing. Let's see, is it just quartz and magnetite? Stuff that there's... ...abundance amount of now? I'm beginning to think that this is not the solution. Please hold. Yeah, you need one of these fucking things. Confirmed. I just loaded the game, and I'm gonna go back to the cave, because now I think I know. So, I think... I went to every area that does not have the antidote. There is one that does. Now, I am not the sharpest tool in the shed, and I don't always pay close attention to the logs, but... Were there any clues? Were there any clue gulagers that you had to do this? I, I guess maybe the fact that there's spy penglings and little caves for them. But other than that... Seems kind of vague to me. Oh, God, what have I done? You're just gonna watch me do this, aren't you?
I'm just disappointed in myself more than anything. <laughs> God damn it. Honestly, this whole area just kind of makes me wish I was playing Metroid Prime instead. Still waiting on that trilogy release on the Switch, Nintendo, you fucks. Meanwhile, we got Sky Wizzle Jizzle coming out this week. No Metroid Prime trilogy? Come on. Yes, I'd like to report this whole area as being a bug. As my enjoyment dipped down to like 10%. Clearly it must have been a glitch. circle time. Yes. That's good. Very good. This ain't the right way. Gonna set out again. So I have some semblance of where this thing is now. It's not far from the Leviathan itself. You just have to go south from the, the Leviathan cave, apparently. I got stuck here last time too, doing the same same thing and navigating poorly last time as well. That's the end of 
the road for the snow fox. Or is it? Also the wrong way. Very good. Sorry if my complaining has made this playthrough less fun. It's not my goal. I don't I don't want to complain. I want to enjoy. getting closer. Man, even with a beacon, it's still really fucking hard to get back to that cave. So, cave is north, what I'm looking for is south, so this is pretty much right where it has to be. Gotta be this. If I have to build another one of these things, I'm going to shit peanuts. Please no. picked up some log. I don't know, it wasn't playing when I was a penguin. Oh, 
A little further. A little further, buddy. Gotta be here somewhere. Seriously. Ser seriously. Please hold. This may not be the correct one. It certainly looks like it. Western end of the thing. This is. Is this not that? I'm gonna look one more time. One more time. This seems very suspicious to me. And there's even lights over here. Why would there be lights here if there wasn't. No antidote over here. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. No antidote over here. It said at the end of the cave will be the antidote. This might not. Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's correct. whole time that things were trying to attack me. Angry much? Just gonna stay mad? Fuck off. We're this way, and then... Find yourself going up a hill. There should be a light stick near the top of the hill. Head left. You should find yourself walking past the top of a frozen waterfall. This 
is, yep, that's the frozen waterfall. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. Head down a slope leading down the western end of the glacial connection lake. Then it says... Should be just under the slope. You see caves. I don't think this is what this guide is referring to at all. It's right here. Vital item in easily missable spot. But don't worry, because you can go bilp. Sam must have stashed this here. Why did Sam stash this here? How? Why can't Subnautica woman crawl? Until next mission. I guess that's just her name now, Subnautica. Why, why can't Subnautica crawl? Now that's a game I, I'm thinking about playing. Super Metroid. Played it a hundred times. And even just mentioning it, I'm like, hmm, I should play Super Metroid. case I get mauled by an angry snow lion, it would be good to save here. Oh my god. Like, I went to go revive the Leviathan. Revive the Leviathan. I don't know if I can Oh my god. Is this real?
Not for nothing, but I could have probably done the injection. I believe the antibacterial agent was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like, knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. I think it's nice that the alien is sentimental about the sister. You know, this, like, hive mind Borg-esque group. They were just being nice. Alright, so that's not the end of the game. No, indeed. I guess end of the game is go to all the green locations. But at least it's the end of the surface, so let's just go back to the base, goddammit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Never to return here, hopefully. I can understand the logic behind wanting a surface segment, and even, like, the spy pangling idea is neat. It was just utterly frustrating for me. I don't know if anyone had a different experience here. Maybe it was more enjoyable. Maybe there was more, like, some people found it easier to find stuff. Maybe I just missed a lot of, like, obvious clues. But I think this was almost a killer. This almost killed my, my whole interest in this game. Which, to be fair, was already waning. Excuse me, simply because of the um, recording issues. And the computer crashes. And that's not the fault of the game. Turns out, I also crashed during Phantom Abyss. And that's not this game, because those are two different games. So anyway, I think just making Alien live, I think that's my final task. Maybe escaping the planet, if possible. Maybe Alien will help me escape. Oh. 
Look at that. You could just jump over here and grab all this stuff without the penguin. Just gonna try to... Uh, I was gonna, um, park the snow fox at its... At its dock, but I've... Uh, I don't think that would be wise, because then it would be a lot slower to get back. I think it would be best if I just took it to my sea truck. I almost forgot this game was underwater. This takes, like, mental amounts of damage like crazy. Look, down to 4%. Right, there's this whole thing, too. Hydraulic fluid. Can't be arsed. Maybe there's something vital. Powers. I think if any underwater vehicle could use a reverse camera, it would also be this. Because there's a reverse camera on the, um, the big submarine, I think it was called the Cyclops, in the original, but this could definitely use a reverse camera. Hell, cars in 2021 have cameras when you reverse. <laughs> What's the excuse here? Fuck. Make it out of a jellyfish scrotum. You, you can do that in this game. Okay, that was... Okay, good. I was wondering, and now I know. Some of that geothermal. Power restored. Also, this is definitely, definitely a good time to turn off that shit. That shit. All primary systems online. Posters. This 
area. It's pretty cool now. I don't want to do another table and chairs combo over there. Let me do that real quick. Kind of fun. Enjoyment of game has already spiked. need to. Probably not going to need that again. Hang in there. The game is speaking directly to me. Long, pointless corridors. Fuck yeah. Now this place is great. If there is ever, like, any, you know, people ever that came to visit, this would be a good mess hall. cotton anemone again. I don't know what the fuck that is. But that will probably be next time. Pick up framed art. Ah, yes. Beautiful art. We only eat the spicy pepper in this house. See, then the sense of wonder is just restored, because you're underwater, and it's cool. It's like, ah, yes. This game is pretty cool. Alright, I think that'll do it for now. I think I have to decompress a little bit, if you'll forgive the underwater pun. And I need to... kind of... readjust... to the fact that this game isn't just surface nonsense. And, and you know, just divide this between, you know, surface and underwater segments. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna relax a little bit. And I will return to this and try to finish it within the week 
I think that will be wise. So thank you for watching this episode, this incredibly frustrating episode of Subnautica Beyond Zero, which is like a zero calorie product. And uh, take care. God, get those penglings. Remember them. Mechanical. They go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'll show you the ducks again at some point. I have good duck content for the future. Take care, everybody. And thank you again very much for continuing to watch. Spirit. <laughs>